Mr. Beast, we failed you. But before we get into that drama... Wait, DJ, you wrote the script? Do you really think this is drama? Viewers are angry. Thoughts? Anyway, before we get into why we failed Mr. Beast, there's some army battles, leaks! Bew, bew, bew. <laughs> what is this script? <laughs> no, you're supposed to put foghorns there. There's some army battles leaks pew, 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 that I want to show you all. This is some juicy stuff. Our first video of 2022 is a video about drama and leaks. Great start to the year, huh, DJ? Let's get right into the drama. The first leak today on Terabyte News is fartreverb.mp3. Oh, this is a juicy one. <laughs> Arby Battle Season 3, cool face? The picture was taken from event leakers. FartReverb.mp3 by the Arby Battles Games Group, and it's a decal. What does this mean? Farts confirmed? I think farts are confirmed in Arby Battle Season 3. Wow. It kind of stinks. I don't know how to feel about that one. Let me know how you guys feel about that one in the comments. Next in the news, I am Santa and Leah Ash hacked into the Arby Battles host game and saw them with Lulu and Bob. Wow, so Lulu and Bob were in a server with the Arby Battles hosts. That can only mean one thing. Lulu and Bob competitors confirmed? I think we're gonna see Lulu and Bob in Arby Battles season three. This next leak is probably the biggest leak yet. This leak is so big, I'm not sure if I even feel comfortable giving it more attention. But this is Terabrite Games. So of course we need to give you the big scoops. As you can see in this picture, the letter Q is confirmed to be in Arby Battle Season 3! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see the letter Q! Q! Next up, Mr. Bouchot tweeted, There's a new Arby Battles website! Event Hunters also tweeted the website out with a picture of one of the pages. This person said, Amagus. I'm speechless. Let's check out the new website, armybattles.com. Wow, look at that masterpiece. I wonder who did that. I wonder. <laughs> so this is a brand new website that we put together. We did it ourselves. And if you go to the wiki, game wiki, page. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Okay, DJ, wiki, wiki. we see you having fun on the website. And on this page, you will see, you know, a bunch of information about RB Battles, some statistics, some past event stuff, and some upcoming stuff. And in the background, there's a beautiful picture of something. Hmm, I wonder what that is. So yeah, if you haven't checked out the new website, go check it out. We worked pretty hard on it. That's why we haven't seen you in 10 years. Just kidding, we've been doing other things too. <laughs> this isn't really leaks, but I thought this was really cool. Actually, I think they animated it too. Let me go check their page. That is so cool! I feel like we need that somewhere in the event because that's just cool. Hey, we aren't the host though. We're just reporting the leaks. Oh, right, 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 sorry. <clears throat> this is uh, Terabyte News, remember? <laughs> right. Next up at Terabyte News, there's this leak that says, so looks like laser beam and tanker were found with the host of Big Paintball. Hashtag RV Battles. Wow, let's look at this photo here. Tanker and laser beam and big paintball, confirmed? I think so, and that definitely doesn't look photoshopped. Definitely looks real. It definitely looks real, yeah. All right, let's move on. All right, we considered not even showing you this next leak, but we're never gonna give you guys up and we're never gonna let you down, so we're gonna show it to you. Russo Rickroll confirmed. And last but not least on Terabyte Games News today, we have this and it surely means something. I think it might be a hint for season three. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What does this mean? Next in the news, Infinite Canvas is welcoming two new Canvas crew members, Nightbox and Seniac. I can't wait to collab with them. Everybody give a warm welcome and don't forget to check out Infinite Canvas if you haven't already. I thought today it would be really fun if I went back down memory lane and played some of the first games I ever saw on Roblox. So let's get into it. The lineup of IC games are growing and the newest to the family is Giant Simulator. If you want to see us play Giant Simulator, smash that like button! I'll link Infinite Canvas in the description. So a little less than two weeks ago, DJ got a DM from the man himself, Laserbeam. If you guys didn't know, in the past, we made a game called Tree Planting Simulator for Team Trees. So Laserbeam knew of us 
and that we were somehow affiliated with game development in some way just because of that. He actually, I don't even know if he really knew what RB Battles was, but he wanted a game that could feature 700 players that he could dominate all of them and delete them all. <laughs> that, that was his pitch to us. <laughs> we're like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> So Sabrina and I, since we already have all these assets for our RB Battles game with all these mini games and stuff, we thought, you know what? We could probably make something like that and do it pretty quickly. It wouldn't even take that long. We'd have like a full on game. So in less than a week, the developers of RB Battles, the lead dev was Hoonty and then assisting Hoonty was Emmanuel. They did an amazing job making this game in less than a week. And we also had to focus on making it, what DJ? That is flawed. <laughs> we have like this uh, little inside joke where we always say satisfying. <laughs> because when Laser Beam played Tree Planting Simulator, he just really, really loved collecting seeds. I think just play the clip, Sabrina. All right, let's play it. Let's show you guys how satisfying it is. I've let all the seeds drop from the trees. You ready for this? Prepare to get satisfied. Oh, <laughs> it's so satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been doing this for eight hours and it's still so satisfying. Oh. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> so now whenever we're making a game, we always like show this clip to our devs and we're like, we need it to be satisfied. It has to be satisfied. If it's not satisfied, <laughs> then we're not going to satisfy people. Yeah, so the game we made, we ended up going with sort of an IO type gameplay because those are fairly simple. You just eat orbs usually like, have you ever played Slitherio? It's kind of like that snake game or Gario where you just like, you eat something to get bigger and you kill people to get their orbs to get bigger. That's basically what we did here. And it came out pretty cool, I think. So, I mean, for a less than week game, I think it's pretty awesome. So you start out with a little sword. You have to collect these orbs to get bigger and stronger. Then we got some boosts over here that you can buy um, for their like timed boosts. What the heck? That person's head's big. Eliminate players to take their orbs. So let me go ahead real quick and eliminate DJ. Dude, is it just me or is there like no orbs? Die, die, die. It's die, so die, hard die, to die. find orbs. Die, 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 die. I'm here with my buddies <laughs> and we're all hanging out. Wow. Ooh, that's hey. Oh my gosh. We're friends. <laughs> That wasn't uh, very nice. The first thing I'm going to do is go over here to the little shop. As you can see, we added an OP laser beam van hammer, <laughs> which uh, is basically what he requested. And it's 50,000 Robux. <laughs> and then also we got some boosts here. Five minutes of gaining extra mass. We got 25% extra damage. Passive healing, this one is a big one. We're thinking about adding a package to this game. If everybody keeps playing it and wants to keep playing it, um, it'd be nicer to just buy these with a package. The orb magnet though is my favorite one because it helps you collect or orbs that you can't reach and you don't have to like go right up to it to like collect it. And the red orbs are from players that have fallen and gotten eliminated. Here I go. I'm gonna beat DJ. No, I'm gonna beat Sabrina and I'm gonna show you how satisfying it is to collect her orbs when I defeat her. Someone has 15,000 on the leaderboard. How did they get that much mass? I have seven. I need to get bigger. No, All right, now get for some reason right now, the me. orbs aren't scaling very well with the player count. Right now, we're kind of just fighting for the few orbs that are available. And I'm gonna equip the hammer, baby. Let's no! go. And guys, originally this was supposed to be a 700 player <laughs> server. Literally, Roblox, it couldn't handle it. Here's a quick clip from when Laserbeam was trying to record for his video and we tried 700 players. This game is filling up. There's so many people you can't even respawn. Oh, we try and make a laser beam server and of course we break it. <laughs> it's so like... Yeah, we've broken the Roblox servers. Roblox is like a $70 billion company, but they can't handle the laser beam game. <laughs> this is the best game ever in Roblox, dude. Check this game out. I'll put it in the description. They worked hard on it to make the perfect laser beam game. Just yeah, too massive shout out to the devs, by the way. Yeah, they massive, massive shout out. out. Yeah, so as you can see, that was uh, a lot for Roblox. I guess it's not ready for 700 player servers, but it's pretty good at 100 players. All right, DJ, I'm getting the, the hammer now and it is a hammer boss fight. Why are these people trying to fight me? They're little tiny ants and I'm a giant guy with a band hammer. I'm coming after you. They want to get band hammered. 
Well, I think you want to get banned. Ha! Banned! Ha! You're banned! How are you not getting hurt, but I am? I got all the way down to 305, and you're still at 1,000? No, I'm at 150. Well, you know what? Take that! Take that! What? Oh! Let's go! What? I am the king of the ban hammer. Yeah, so the ban hammer, it's a very expensive, overly OP hammer. We didn't want people to just like have it indefinitely and just like be number one on the leaderboard just because they paid. We made it a game pass that like if you buy it, you have it every time you respawn again, you can get it, but it has like a health to the hammer. So once you break that health down on the hammer, you gotta, you know, get it again after you die and respawn. Look at all these little ants crowding around me. Watch this, ready? Oh no. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, they got me they right got before you. I slammed. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what you oh, get. Oh, man. That's what you get. That's kind of, I got to say thank you to Sharkbox and Devon for buying the hammer. You didn't have to. Yeah. You didn't want you to. That was just for laser beam, but it's kind of funny that you did it. So, I just uh, can't believe it. There was actually a lot of purchases on the ban hammer. 18 sales on the ban hammer, DJ. 18. That's a lot more people than I expected. I'm not going to lie. And we made a badge for playing with laser beam. So 829 people got that badge. But DJ, we have more news. We have to get to the drama, the part that everybody's been waiting for. What? The reason we failed Mr. Beast. Oh no, not that drama. So as you may all know, we said we were going to make a game really, really quickly when Team C's launched, with Mr. Beast launched a campaign called Team TC, Team C. Wow, I can't talk. When Mr. Beast launched the Team C's campaign, we wanted to participate by making a Roblox game the same way we did when we made Team Tree's Tree Planting Simulator. But I guess building a game with like boats and garbage and like making it feel good and like having all the cool ideas that we have is much harder than we anticipated. So at first the builds and the programming took way longer than we thought and we were like, okay, it's fine. Let's just make sure the game is actually like fun and good instead of just releasing a bad game really fast. Wait, maybe gems are used for power-ups. That's what it was, power-ups oh. and... Um... Right. Yeah, power yeah, ups yeah. and robot, I think, was the, like the main two yeah. things. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Power like bombs and like two times power and stuff. That should be just power ups, I think. Right, Sabrina? Yeah. Like, do do you understand what we're saying? Yeah. Sabrina spaced out for saying she wasn't paying attention to you. No, I was, I was paying attention. She was on geese. The main developer, Kalask, he worked so hard for months, literally like every single day, like for two months straight worked on the game. And then he went to work somewhere else, hired by a studio, which is understandable. This was no guarantee the campaign ended by the time he, you know, was leaving. So the Team C's campaign ended in December and we were left right after Christmas with an almost finished game. It's literally Really so close but it's missing like a few things and it's pretty buggy in some places so it's unfortunate that we don't really have anybody working currently on it we have somebody interested in working on it but hasn't started since we asked them two weeks ago it's kind of just in limbo <laughs> and that is why we filled mr beast ah. and believe it or not the thing that devs like hate the most is working on games that other people worked on like they don't like using other people's code. So it like seems like a really easy thing. Like, oh yeah, just find another developer. But that's not the case. No, no, no. We're in a case where we spent a lot of money on a game that probably like hardly anyone is interested in working on. If you know any good developers that are willing to work with code and they're talented and know how to make stuff satisfying, mm -hmm. <laughs> then definitely let us know. That's kind of where we are right now. As you can see, like the quality is pretty great so far in the game. It's a really great game on its own if you don't even like think of it as just a campaign game for Team C's. Just think of it as Sea Cleaning Simulator. It's just a fun simulator. And we happen to have actually donated a thousand to Team C's during the campaign when Mr. Beast was live streaming. I have a clip from that. I don't know what I exactly recorded, but it was kind of funny. Okay, so $1,000 is a mega slap and I kind of want to do a oh. mega slap. So. So we're gonna go ahead and donate a thousand dollars after two mega slaps. I don't know, but they're dunking Carl right now, so I'm excited to see this happen. If anybody's able to aim correctly, 
<laughs> so I just did it off to the side so my sensitive information wasn't on screen. Oh, oh, did they do it? They, they dumped, dumped them. them right when I. Oh my gosh, right when I wasn't looking. But I just donated a thousand dollars to Team C's. So yeah, we have this game. It's almost done. Got a lot missing from it though, so it's not quite there. It's not quite playable. It's got really, really cool pets though. Yes, it does. It's and got a yeah. really satisfying gameplay. <laughs> Like the mm -hmm. whole plan for everything, it all kind of just worked out and it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's just not finished. It nope. just needs to be finished. The sad truth is, if we find someone to work on it, they're probably gonna have to rewrite a lot of the code and it's gonna take way longer than we expected because like I said, devs don't like working with other people's code. So they're gonna wanna make it their own so we could add updates and stuff in the future without them having to like decipher code all the time. So that's just how it works. That's how it worked with RB Battles. We had to rewrite RB Battles completely. It's one of the unfortunate things about hiring people that you have no guarantee that they're gonna stick around. And that's kind of what we've been dealing with for the past two years. <laughs> yes, developing is really rewarding, really fun, really cool, really creative, and it's also really stressful. So I kind of want to give them a small sneak peek of something from here. What do we do? I think that the boat shop is currently broken. I think because we were putting in the YouTuber boat and it broke all the other boats and I don't think you can see any other boat right now. <laughs> We have a huge selection. Did you hear that? A huge selection. What? <laughs> I wonder who that was. <laughs> oh, I can see the boats. Oh my gosh, I just gave you like too many sneak peeks. I gave like four boat sneak peeks. Oh um, no, too much, too much. I think you should hatch another egg. I'm gonna Let's hatch go. another egg right now, I'm doing it. Let's go. What's it gonna be? It's a seagull. It's a seagull. Whatever floats your boat. But yeah, as you can see, we make sure that like everything that we make and everything that we hire people to make, like we put a lot of attention into quality and the sound design and animation. Like we always want to make sure everything that we put out into the world is really cool because that's just like, we like to overdo everything. I'm trying not to show the whole map right now, but look, I'm collecting trash. Okay, uh, that's enough for now. That's enough, DJ. So I, I want to end this video on a positive note. I want everybody to do a bright like spike and favorite spike on our games. We will link them below. You can literally type robattle.io in your address bar and it'll go straight to that page, which is cool. Nice little detail that DJ thought of. And so if you go there and you, you just support it, it really helps us. And everything we do for RB Battles is out of pocket. Just making a little game like that was a nice little boost in like trying to pay devs and stuff. You guys don't understand how much you're supporting us just by supporting that game. And also go leave a favorite and a like on C Cleaning Simulator if you want us to finish and release this. Let's get the robattle.io rating to like 90%. Can we 90? do that? I think we could do that. Oh my. Right now the rating's a little low for some reason. I think because it's like missing a lot of content, but that's like the point. We made it in a week. So <laughs> I think people don't understand that. So just to make them understand it, we should go like it. Get it to 90% guys. We love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this type of video. We'll be back with our normal pet simulator content soon and we'll see you next time. Bye. Boop.